Welcome to this Yin Yoga class for the summer solstice. This soothing and contemplative Yin Yoga practice invites you to balance the outward focus of summer's fiery energy. Come to a comfortable seated position. We will start with Sitali Pranayama, a simple cooling breathing exercise. Cross-legged if comfortable, otherwise you can always be kneeling or sitting up on a block. Palms rest on the top of the knees, drop the shoulders away from the ears and close your eyes. Extend the crown of the head upwards, your spine is long. To start with a breathing exercise, if you're not sure you can look at the screen for the first round. We're going to inhale through an O-shaped mouth. And then exhale through the nose. Join me now. Inhale, purse your lips. Exhaling through the nose. Inhale through the mouth, O-shaped. And exhale out the nose. Really slowing down your breath as best as you can. Take a few more rounds on your own pace. Take your last round here, inhaling through an O-shaped mouth, exhaling out through the nose. Allow the breath to find its natural state, observing the inhales and exhales through the nose. And notice the quality of your energy just after this simple exercise. Notice how cool your tongue feels from the inhales through the mouth. Gently blink your eyes open Come into tabletop position for our first pose together, which is going to be melting heart. Remove the props you've been sitting on and if you have sensitive knees, please use a folded blanket to pat your knees. I always like to do that, so it's really comfortable. 
Keep your hips directly over the knees and then walk your hands to the top of the mat to melt your heart and your head down towards the ground. And if this feels like it's too intense for you, you can use a block or a dense pillow under your forehead. Remember to find your edge, we're not seeking the deepest stretch in yin. And on a scale of 1 to 10, we want to stay at about a 5. You can keep the elbows straight or you can bend them and rest your forearms on the ground, whatever is more comfortable to you. From here, we're going to transition right into Swings Pose, so please come to lie down on your belly. Place your forearms out in front of you, directly underneath the shoulders, and you can widen your elbows and your palms. Think of lifting your heart by drawing your shoulders down and back, breathing into your heart and chest. If you feel any pinching in your lower back here, you can walk your arms further out or you can play with taking the feet as wide as the mat to lessen the intensity of the pose. Otherwise, be tall and lifted and breathe into your heart.
For the last two minutes, you can either stay here in this first option or if you want to, you can progress further by straightening your arms completely coming into seal pose. This is an advanced stretch and pose, so only do this if you have some yin yoga experience and if it feels right for you and your low back. If there's any pinching or strain or struggling involved by holding this pose, just stay in swings pose. That's absolutely fine. If you've been in seal pose, place your elbows down on the mat again. We will stay lying down on our belly. For a lying chest opener, reach your left arm out to the left, bending your elbow at a 90 degree angle and keeping your left palm flat on the ground. The elbow is about the height of your shoulder and now press your right arm into the floor to roll onto your left ear, shoulder and hip. You can use your left hand to push into the floor to help twist a little deeper or you can let your left hand go to your lower back. You can rest your head on a block to make this a little bit more comfortable for you. The legs can stray straight, outstretched. You can extend your top leg behind you or you can simply bend both knees slightly to allow your legs to relax. I always bend my knees. I find it the most comfortable way to hold this one. Just choose and try it out what works for you.
Straighten your legs, slowly coming out of the pose, back to lie down on your belly. And then let's repeat it on the opposite side. Maybe scooch a little bit to the left, right arm out to the side, bend elbows at 90 degrees so that you can roll onto your right shoulder, hip and right ear. And again, you can use your left hand to push into the floor to help twist a little deeper. Or you can let your hand go to your low back and maybe the top leg steps back behind you. Otherwise, just stack your knees on top of each other, either bent or straight, whatever works for you. Release, straighten your legs, remove any blocks or props, roll onto your belly, making our way back up onto hands and knees. Rest here in tabletop pose for three deep breaths in and out through your nose to notice how you feel different after these poses. If you feel more tuned inwards, more cooled down, energy focused on you and not outward experiences. Now swing your legs forward, coming into caterpillar, straight legged passive forward fold, sit up tall and stretch your legs out in front of you. You can either stay sitting down on the blanket or you can remove it whatever helps you sit tall. So legs out in front of you, coming into caterpillar. 
Let your spine round. Just drape your upper body forward, chin to chest. Relax your head, neck and arms. There's no reaching towards the feet at all. We let gravity do the work. Keep a slight bend in your knees so that you don't lock them up. Holding this pose for around three or four minutes. Slowly make your way back up, engaging the arms, pressing onto the mat to lift inch by inch. And as a counter pause, we will take a seated twist, bend into your right knee and then cross it over your left thigh, hugging your right knee to your chest, r right arm behind you and then twist to the right. Taking a few breaths here. Always think of having a nice tall spine, no rounding in the upper back. Release, switching to the other side, this time left knee in towards your chest, crossing your left foot over the right thigh, hugging your 
left knee to your chest with your right arm left hand out behind you and then twist to the left side. Release this pose. You can end this class either in meditation or you can come to lie down on your back. Maybe hug your knees to your chest for a moment until you eventually stretch out into Shavasana. Stay in Shavasana for as long as time allows. This is where I will leave you. Thank yourself for making it to your mat today and be proud of yourself for taking this time to celebrate the summer solstice. Thank you so much for practicing with me and if you enjoyed this class please remember to let me know in the comments down below and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and share this video with a friend. Practice again with you soon. Namaste.